So the Carvel Manor pre-release is today, or yesterday. It has done incredibly poorly, as has sales. So again, if you look at TCG players, I understand. You can look at eBay, you can look at all these other things, but all these numbers indicate that sales is very, very poor. And yeah, pre-release is Friday, today, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, most places in Houston are not going to do Sunday. They're just going to do Saturday. It looks that way. Uh, my friend invited me to go to pre-release. I was going to go, but you know, Fridays are time you spend with the significant other. So again, you know, I, I used to go every pre-release before I did my boycott. And I would go to five of them. I would go to midnight one. I would go to stat. I mean, I have a. F I mean, pre-release is really the only time I have to really enjoy a set. Um, I'm pretty busy with work and so on. So it's just a fun weekend to relax and just have fun, man. But uh, this pre-release, uh, my friend went to where we normally go. He, I think, three people showed up. Those three people went to another store to meet another three people, and they f finally fired a event. Two year, two hours later, with six people. That is ridiculous, guys. This store, again, I, I like the store. So I'm not going to mention the name. When I first went there, they had events returned around the cup with over a hundred people, over one hundred people, and if you included all the friends and families and just the people hanging out and chilling out. In, in fact, I would imagine there were there was a cow. I mean, it was very crowded, um, but a hundred people for return around the car, six people from two different stores for murder at Carlos Manor, and I have not heard anything good online about this. Uh, I heard that they were reusing artwork. I heard that the set is. Not very powerful. And of course, we get the advent of the play booster, which is a standard booster, but just more expensive. The greed is uh, disgusting. Okay? Like back in the olden days, we just had a standard booster, and that's it. Now we have a set, a draft, and a collector. But because the draft did so poorly, we now have combined the draft and set to make, again, what was originally the standard booster, but it now has more rare. But the, the way it works is, just because it has more rares, if, if every card is rare, you know, I, I see this all the time with um, set boosters. None of the, none of these rares are more than, like, 15 cents. It's like, thank you for giving me four or five different rares. You know, um, in, uh, what's it called? One of, another Rudy's favorite set, Baldur's Gate. You can get a rare background, a rare, you know, Dungeon and Dragon art card, a rare foil, a rare regular card, right? I think there are like five or six slots where you could get rares. But none of the, oh, a rare commander card, but none of the rares are worth anything because people are not stupid. If you put like six rares in a set in a booster pack, yeah, you're going to open a lot of the same things. Over and over and over again. And, and it's not valuable. It has no value. Because if everything is rare, nothing is rare. And people know this, right? Once, I mean, one take a genius, you just open one pack and you'll be like, wait, something's wrong with this. Everything has this little gold symbol or, or uh, orange symbol. I think this could possibly go down as one of the worst performing sets uh, in Magic the Honor history. Number one, going for it is the play boosters. People hate them. I hate them. They're just don't don't un understand this. They're just standard boosters like what we used to have, but much more expensive. Thirty percent more expensive. Thirty. So instead of paying a hundred dollars, like I mean. Play boosters are, was just a very clever way for them to charge us more money for the same booster pack. There's one dude very excited by that proposition, and we are looking at him today. I have not heard many people talk about this set in a positive way. People are upset about the reuse of artwork from Streets of New Campena. 
slapping just random stuff everywhere. The Monopoly edition. Um, the, no, not Clue. No. <laughs> Monopoly soon enough, right? The, the Clue edition. I mean, none of this is good stuff for the game, guys. Like, long term, the game cannot survive on reprinted product, like Re Re Ravnica Remastered, and then very lazy product with very lazy game mechanics and very lazy. You might be like, oh, what? what's happening? Did, everyone got fired, man. There's no one to test the game mechanics. No one knows if this game is good. Like, regardless of what you think of these employees, there's thousand plus employees who are let go. The assumption is they did something productive. So when you let a thousand people go, yes, that was going to hurt your team. And I think some of these people they let go may have been more important than I give them original credit for, because the game has gone downhill. And like, oh well, the game was produced here. No, 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 guys. No, 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 no. So <laughs> when people are let go, they already know. Hey, uh, things look bad. You know, my boss is like micromanaging me. Like you already know well before you're going to be laid off or fired if you're going to be laid off and fired for most situations. Hasbro stock was way down for the year. I really don't think anyone should be surprised when they laid off a thousand people. Right, the stock dictated that they had to to show that they're saving money somewhere and so on and so forth. Right, this will come down as pro possibly one of the worst sets in Magic the Gathering history, and no one can stop it. Sales are poor. There's already been a dump. People are already dumping this product. The only dude who's telling you to invest in this product is looking at us right now, and we know he told us to invest in Meadow Zoo. So there goes all his credibility, in my opinion, because MetaZoo was not investable. Wait, somebody said that, right? Oh, the same dude. This guy said MetaZoo was not never investable, was his exact something like that in a now deleted video, right? <laughs> Gotta delete those videos. Um, wait, if you like this set, just wait for a second. Guys, who the hell is playing standard anyway right now? Autumn Bruchelli, you guys want to play Standard over Autumn? I, I don't, I do not. So like, just wait for the EDA's cards to go down in price. They will go down in price as more of it gets open. I fully expect this to be Amazon dumped. I mean, this is just the a nightmare of a product. The price is high, quality is low, everything is bad. I mean, every, I mean, this product sucks, man. And you don't believe me? You were all oh, words. The evidence is in TCG Player. And the evidence is in eBay. Numbers are very poor. I bet you if Rudy Chan was honest with his patrons, the numbers would also be reflected in how much cases of his collector's edition he sold. I bet you it's not a lot. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.